Hi guys, this is uh, for Biden Fruit, the Tim Dager of Edward Cullen. We're doing it again from chapter <laughs> one, because last time we did it, it was a year ago, we don't remember, and it was shit quality. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yep. <laughs> Nothing to add. Yeah, uh, don't need to add anything to that. And Stephen's going to be reading it. Stephen chapter back. one. Oh wait, the, you, but you already know that. <laughs> chapter one, Altantiana. I'm not even going to try and say it. Yeah. Author's note. Hey guys, this is a new and improved version of my story. Hopefully this isn't the same as, or hopefully this isn't different from the last one we did actually. No, it isn't because you did this at the start of it before. I yeah, think. I think. I think hooray for memory. When it first got uploaded, it was really bad, and I think she improved it. But this is a long time ago, and I don't think we were part of it. Is this like improved with finger quotes? Yeah. Okay. Hope it's better this time. By the way, I am young and have dyslexia. I find spelling hard, but it's meant to be informal. Okay. Unformal. Well, get, at least they're getting the excuses. Dyslexia is not an excuse for making up a word. <laughs> Maybe they were, they were trying to write uniformal. <laughs> no criticism, oh, please. Alright, this is uniform, I swear. No criticism. <laughs> Only positive comments. Yes. <laughs> the awkward Tis... moment where we've already done these jokes. <laughs> I don't remember them. Yeah. This story goes out to my BF Zach Kisses. Is that part of his name? Zach Kisses, yeah. <laughs> AMD, Very my best friend <laughs> Tiffy. Her best <laughs> friend is a processor. <laughs> this is my sister, Intel. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend Tiffy. Love ya, grrr. Edward is our god. We want a sex and god. Love and blood, Becky right? Mac. X, 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 X. <laughs> Lots of kisses. Only a few, only a few X's. Only a few. Doesn't qualify as a bunch of. <laughs> Update, I have a proofreader, and I have cleaned up the spelling and grammar on this chapter a hell of a lot, as you will see. Thank you, Vicky. I will be improving the next chapter soon. It's like a bottom-of-the-shelf proofreader. It's like Microsoft yeah. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Update, I have a proofreader, and I have it's cleaned like spell up the spelling. It's like spellcheck you set to Swahili. Yeah. <laughs> Set to African Sign Language. <laughs> Set a spell check to African Sign Language. That, like, I do not recognise this symbol. Okay. Just uh, Altan Tayana. Hey, my name... Oh, God, she says it again. My yeah, name's Atlantiana. This is her fucking name. Atlantiana. Oh, so is Altantiana or Atlantiana? I think it's like ebony enemy, I don't think it matters. Oh, right, yeah. it's everything. Rebe Schrodinger's typo. Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca Lauren, but everyone calls me Tiana, or just plain Tia. Tia Maria. Tia. 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 I'm well, only with two A's, don't pronounce it with one A. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm... either Tia or Tia. I like Tia. Yeah. I'm a 16-year-old girl, and I live in Forks, Washington. Definitely not the same Forks as in Twilight. No, no, that's that's crazy. <laughs> My hair really is long and pale like spun gold and skims to my waist like a pale shimmering amber mist. So Whatever. it's gold and amber coloured. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I, I, no. Anyway, my eyes are deep forget-me-not blue and my delicate <laughs> fentures are lily white and pure <laughs> as the winter ones. snow in moonlight. <laughs> my fentures. Oh, like, like dentures, you know? It's, Even if she'd written it right... Dentures. This reads as an exact copy of the intro to My Immortal. Yeah. Ah, the name swapping thing is even suspicious, and the person who's proofreading. Yeah. yeah. I'll bet she falls out with her about chapter six. <laughs> oh, okay, let, Paul, let's, Paul, let's Paul, not go too meta here. Just get on with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, where the fuck was I now? I've been told by loads of sleazy, ugly guys that I'm pretty and look like a model or a bunny girl. Some of the guys who like me are really old and try to make opt with me. It's disgusting and weird. Being described uh, as a bunny girl is pretty disgusting and weird anyway. Yeah, bunny. <laughs> but basically, a lot of the girls I meet tell a different story. They say I'm too ivory white and ethereal and too skinny and that I look anorexic, which I don't care about. But I think <laughs> it's seriously disrespect disrespectful to women with real eating disorders. Who ever describes someone as ethereal? <laughs> you look too ethereal, my dear. You have the proofreader, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. By the way, I'm so totally not anorexic. I eat loads, I just never gain weight, and I'm not thin enough to be anorexic anyways. I think they were just being biatches. I, I reckon bulimic. 
This is fucking amazing. Keep reading. Especially this one ratty brain called Ellie Mayfair. She owns a home. Is that an IRL person? Just Mm. fucking, just go, go. This is amazing. Keep going. Okay. Who I hope freaking dies in pain with shit on her face. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) I should have shouted that, but... They have anger problems. I want to... I really want to cheer on this main character. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I'm not really such a batch, but she is so horrible if you'd made her, you'd think the same. We need a picture of some bread. one person. (laughs) Not a batch, yeah. (laughs) Anyway, I am... Quite tall and slim, but oh with God, really big boobs. Oh, it's not even finished yet. It's the second paragraph. It's not even finished. You're supposed to move on to a new paragraph and you've got a new subject. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, it's Or if it becomes a big mess of text. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but with really big boobs that I used to hate because they look noticeable on my slender body and draw too much attention, but now I like them and don't care who stares at me. I'm quite the same. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have a lip ring and recently put black and indigo and magenta streaks in my long, pale blonde hair. Oh, so she's dear. like Ethernet cable. You see, she has so purple weird. streaks. Ooh. Oh yeah. Here yes. comes the fishnets. I smell like mint and cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to get that checked out. I wear mostly black and hot pink, deep purple and neon blue, and listen to cool music. Like deep purple. Yeah, like deep purple. <laughs> I'm Definitely desperate trying not. to think of a band that has some kind of ice name in it somewhere. Vanilla Ice. Vanilla <laughs> Ice. I love Vanilla Ice. He's my favourite artist. Chapter 2, Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> it is it was a f- Vanilla Ice concert in Hogsmeade that day. <laughs> the same chat. <laughs> my he was doing an improvised dance routine to you between Ninja Turtles music. Go Ninja, go Ninja. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's be serious right, here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a serious fan fiction, okay? <laughs> you want to disrespect this art. It is my first day at school in Forks as I just moved here to live with my new foster parents, Dave and Marie. Jesus Christ, Marie. What's your... Hello, Dave. Hello, Marie. What's your daughter's name? Atlantiana Rebecca Lauren. <laughs> wow, you're eccentric, are you? <laughs> they are nice and very whole. Some. Oh, some. <laughs> Sweet people, but it's not like having a real family. Fuck you, adoptive parents. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a... <laughs> it's a dick move there. Yeah. I've been hurt too many times to let people close to me, and I don't talk to them very much. Yeah, I liken this character even more. Mm-hmm. My mo- real mum died when I was born, and I never knew my real dad. I sometimes wonder what he is like and if I'll ever get to meet him. Dave gave it's me a, a right fiction, to... fiction, of course you will. He'll yeah. be a vampire. He'll be a vampire. Oh, I get it, yeah. Slash werewolf. Yeah. Who goes Flash to Hogwarts? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Dave gave me a ride to school, and I smiled faintly as he wished me good luck, and I got out of the car and went into the school. Loads of people freaking stared at me as I walked down the hall. I was wearing tight black leather pants with silver chains at the waist. W A S T E. The main she has them hanging on her arse. I just read it. Yep. The shouting kind of distracted me, I've lost it again. And a red fish Ned like ah! <laughs> Fire the Claxon. <laughs> <laughs> and she uh, I said Clarkson. <laughs> Fire the Clarkson. <laughs> this is the best fan fiction. Okay, we really need world. to fucking finish a sentence at some point in this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just keep going. <laughs> I'm trying so desperately. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, suck dick. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no one's gonna get that. I don't Jeremy get Clarkson. that. Power. Anyway. Power. <laughs> I- <laughs> Just finish the fucking sentence. Yeah, go. That is the sound of people Fishnet clicking like off box. this video. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm really going to have to edit some of this out. It's going to be a bit of editing, doesn't it? <laughs> this, this, is, uh, this is 11 minutes already. We're okay, not right, even sorry, halfway sorry, down okay, the right. fucking right. thing. Focus. A red, a red fishnet like top and you can see my black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have to take a time out. Okay, yeah, time out. Yeah, time out, time out. <laughs> I'll just breathe a bit. Right, what is this joke? Okay, what was what's going on? I said Clarkson, and he heard it like Clarkson. I said <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah, I get that, but why did you say Clarkson? 
because uh, red fish light like, top, as in fire off the like an alarm because you know. And then he said Clarkson, and then <laughs> we just started doing Jeremy Clarkson and burst the Some say under his suit he wears a fishnet top <laughs> and a black lacy bra. <laughs> wait, a lacy bra? That's wait, that's that mean it's like totally see through. Oh wait, lace. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, so, yes. Anyway, <sighs> serious time. And a red fishnet like top, and you could see my black lacy bra through it. I ignored whispers and the big pink cheerleader embossles pointing at me. Embossles. Embossles. I was used to it and I paid no attention to the. Attention! (laughs) 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 That was not that funny! Okay, right, okay. (laughs) To the guys asking deliberately for my number. Desperately. As opposed to accidentally. Desperately. You read that wrong. Stephen is making his own jokes here. <laughs> it's been too long. For himself. <laughs> it's been too long. Yeah. Oh. To the guys asking desperately for my number, like hell I'd even look at the horny little donkeys. And told a ditzy blonde cheerleader called Jessica to STFU! Exclamation oh. mark. That's just too much, isn't it? Oh. Shitting on your face, fine. <laughs> <laughs> when she called me a freak. What's ne- even more amazing about that sentence is that she's called Jessica, not Brittany. Yeah. Brittany. <laughs> Next time she tries anything, I'll hit her in the eye, because no one messes with me anymore. My first day, I was relay board. She was a closed circuit logic board. Okay. <laughs> <I said. laughs> Only you would make that joke. <laughs> there are six electrical engineers around the world giggling to themselves now. Yeah. I sat gazing out of the window into the grey cloud and bittered sky for most of the morning. My teachers all looked at me disprovable but said nothing because they probably knew I was a foster kid and a gothic and didn't want to upset me in case I cut them up as they slept. And for some reason, that's just... You, you can't you can't disprove that, that she's a gothic kid. What a likeable person. Yeah. I know. My ears are pierced the four times. Trying. Yeah. My ears are pierced four times. I have a tattoo of a scorpion, like S, my birth sign. What? Oh, Scorpio. On, mm-hmm. uh, on my ankle and a gothic cross on my shoulder. And on my hand, I have a weird birthmark in the shape of a seven-pointed star that I've had all my life. <laughs> I'm sure that'll not come... <laughs> I really hope that just doesn't come into play at all yeah. and is never mentioned again. Half of these things won't be, though. Yeah, yeah probably, exactly. Probably all of them. Yeah. yeah. I can't help but think of Tenacious D now. I've had this birthmark since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm bothering to tell you this. Well, I tell you now, I am no ordinary 16-year-old girl. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> Who would have thought? I have a secret, a dark and forbidden secret, which I am only just beginning to understand. (laughs) Worlds are colliding again. (laughs) When I sleep, I hear whispers in another language, and even though I understand them at the time, when I wake up, I can't remember it. But she knows she understands it. I think those are called dreams. (laughs) (laughs) She's got a really messed up roommate. Yeah. I also see weird faces in my dreams that fade to nothingness when I open my eyes. Like a dream. And I swear out the corner of my eye, my birthmark glows shocking bright gold and gets really hot at sometimes. Where but when I look, birthmark? the proofreader has real problems. The spelling oh, on word hand, really. Okay. Proofreader has relay problems. Yes. Yes, yeah, he really has a lot of problems. I said it right. Shit. He? Anyway, keep going. I just used to think it was. I used to just think I was re- really athletic, but now I'm not so sure. You, oh, I think you missed it. You yeah. missed so many lines there. Uh, you're maybe it gets really hot. Uh, really when I look, hot. when I look properly, it's back to normal boarding scar color. It leaves at night. I went to boarding scar. <laughs> I am really graceful, like the running antelopes. <laughs> <laughs> as a, no, I could. I'm going to make a face joke, but well. I don't know it. When I run very fast, and I'm stronger and faster than most people. I used to just think so I was modest. really... Oh, I'm modesty. That's my best feature. I'm really <laughs> modest. <laughs> I used to just think I was really athletic, but now I'm not so sure. I think we should make a drinking game. Yeah. Really. I'll never get old. For really, yeah. yeah. I think there might be something else at work. Something so much more mysterious and eerie. Ear. Ear. No, it's Ireland. Uh, whatever that... <laughs> Like when you get those free phone numbers. I yeah. <laughs> The truth hovers so softly on the brink of my memory sometimes, but if only I could remember the weird things that clung to the edge of my mind as I slept. 
At lunch, I sat alone in the corner and scanned the cafeteria quietly with my eyes smouldering dark blue beneath my long black lashes and my slim thighs curled under me. I was talking about under her thighs. <laughs> my eyes curled under my thighs. Her description isn't that bad. Wait, no. It's not that bad, but the next sentence kind of ruins it. It was then I noticed an unbelievably jaw-droppingly hot, hot, hot dude with tusseted blondy brown hair, golden so yellow hot eyes. Was he? <laughs> he was hot. <laughs> hot. Yeah, I, I, I believe you've got, you know... Zero Celsius, fifty Celsius, hundred Celsius, and hot. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the official de- uh, scale. Yeah. Golden yellow eyes, like wilds of hot caramel and pale, sexy features. I feel like something doesn't meet up here. Wells of hot caramel. <laughs> you might eat his eyes. <laughs> he was tall and muscle, and looked like <laughs> he was, he was, a, shellfish. <laughs> he was a shellfish. He was a shellfish lover. <laughs> And my body got hot and cold all at no, once. No, you missed everything. <laughs> Tall and muscle. And looked, I said that bit. And looked like he was wearing eyeliner. And my body got hot, hot and cold all at once. It's fever. As I looked at him. <laughs> yeah, and then she, she gets died visibly of a fever. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> he got typhoid and died of a fever. It's like one of those mimetic diseases. <laughs> yeah. I had never felt this way about anyone before, and I totally had never felt this weird feeling that I'd met someone before, but I had no idea where, and I knew it was impassable because I'd freaking remember someone that hot. It was in your dream. <laughs> this man is impassable. He is 275,000 pound in weight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I much it, like, yeah, her just, like, looking longingly at this dude, like... <laughs> Set at the table, it's like, you know, golden caramel eyes and then he's 275,000 pounds. just thinking fat bastard from a uh, thing. <laughs> she wasn't near... Oh, a girl sat next to him with long brown hair with her arms draped over him like a freaking flesh-eating plant. She has big arms. So I thought, well, whatever, he's taken. She wasn't nearly as hot as he was. She wasn't ugly, though. I figured I was maybe prettier than her. I never really saw myself as beautiful. There's that modesty and the yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. But I guess everyone else tells me she's everyone else tells me I'm beautiful. But I'm only just incredibly athletic and like have magical powers <laughs> and dreams and shit. Yeah. But I'm probably I'm hotter than she is. On my Tumblr. <laughs> but I'd... I never I really saw myself as beautiful, but I guess from things others had said. Oh, Plus Plus, this girl wasn't great looking, but anyways, I'd never try to pilch with another girl's boyfriend, because that's just low. Oh, I just realised so who many, these two there's are. There's so many inner monologues in this thing. Mm. I just realised who these two are. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I you know, from the fucking start. <laughs> I should because point out. she wasn't attractive, and I know, like, fan yeah. fiction authors hate a well, certain it's, character. It's not called Forbidden Fruit, the temptation of some guy. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. Yeah. Sorry. It would have made the Twilight films a lot more interesting if he was £275,000. <laughs> I can fly. Oh my god. Fail will. I should... Vampire. Get in my belly! <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> I should point out at this point, I'm all over the place as my glasses are in work. Oh, all right, okay. Okay. And yes, I still need them. Emo glasses. <laughs> it's not even, it's old man glasses now. <laughs> So I got up to leave the hall thinking I'd go and smoke some bald drugs in the locker room. That wasn't my mortal bald drugs. What are bald drugs? <laughs> I'm starting to suspect this one. It's the type of drugs that allow you to write these types of fan pictures. <laughs> <laughs> in the locker room while no one was there. As I, noted, as I walked over to the exit, I couldn't help but notice the hot pale guy's musky eyes as they met my... Ooh. Musky I caramel lo- doesn't sound that delicious. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds off. Just getting burnt by caramel at this point, like, half of her innards are just gone and she doesn't even notice. Half the hall is charred. I locked away hurriedly. 275,000 pound burning hot man. <laughs> leaking caramel, that explains it. Yeah. He's leaking caramel from his eyes. <laughs> maybe maybe he was like a machine at like a Cadbury's plan and he became, you know, like, Could alive and escaped or something, yeah. He was a Cadbury's factory powered by Duracell batteries. How many more companies can we get in here? <laughs> yeah, that's the name. To... I could really go for, like, some, uh... Burger some... King. I'm going to listen to the Yogg's cast. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Yeah. <laughs> Slice yeah. that in again. Okay. Yeah. I locked away hurriedly. I smoked dope in the locker room for a bit. 
Then I wander to my next class. Isn't a smock like... Oh, it's classes. dope then. So bald drugs are dope. We got to yeah. the bottom of that one. Isn't a smock like a type of, type of dress? Yeah, it's like a thing, like an apron. Moo moo. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway. I smocked a dop in the locker room for a bit, then I wandered, wandered to my next class. My I next bumped... Class? <laughs> I just did that joke like a minute ago and no one even fucking heard me. Life is tough. <laughs> I bumped into someone in the corridor and my box fell everywhere. Oh my god, my box! Red as bollocks. Frick, frick, frick! <laughs> oh god, now they think they're in Scrubs. Box. Thingy from Scrubs, yeah. What the fuck? I screamed loudly. Well, actually, WTF, WTF. I screamed loudly. <laughs> Watch where you're freaking going, you asshole. I have anger problems. Really? <laughs> I'm so, so sorry, he said in a voice like wet heaven. Wet heaven? <laughs> As like opposed to dry when heaven. You're dead. <laughs> Please forgive me, my lady. It was the hot pale guy. I think that's all we have dun, for dun, tonight. Dun. <laughs>